Gail and all my friends at the Ohio Stamp Junkies Meetup. I'm so jealous. I wish I was there crafting with you. I hope you have a wonderful time. And thank you so much, Gail, for hosting the Make and Take for us. Let me show you the completed card. So we've got a, a fun little light up card here. And I apologize, the studio lights are really bright. But it's a, it's a cute little slimline, mini slimline card here. Perfect for birthdays. We all need more birthday cards, right? It's a quick and easy card to make. And I'll show you what's inside the kit. We'll just reverse back in time before I made this card. Um, I'll show you what's inside the kit, how to make it, what supplies you'll need if you want to recreate this at home. And if you're not at the meetup, well, me too. Sorry. <laughs> Next year, let's all go, right? Um, I'll show you the supplies that, that we use for that too. Okay, let's, uh, let's get started. So let's talk about what's included in your kit. You'll have a, a coupon with a finished uh, photo of the project when I get this finished and take a picture of it for you. And then you'll see inside we've got a one light. This is what's going to actually light up your card. Set this aside. We'll use that in a few minutes. You've got a little packet that has cherry pieces, a little candle. You should have a yellow candle flame in there and some clay sprinkles. Those are all to decorate. So we'll set that aside for now. And then you have a couple of cupcake pieces. You've got the rainbow liner. And then you've got two options where you're frosting. And I'm actually going to double it up. So you just decide whichever one you want to be on top. I know not everybody likes the look of cream next to white. So you have both options there. And again, we're going to put a, a cherry and sprinkles on top. So not a big deal um, if you decide that you want the white on top. I've already gone ahead and stamped the word push on each one there. So you can see that. Um, in the kit, you'll also have a piece of vellum. You'll have this little... A square piece here that has a hole in the center. I'll show you what that's for in a second. You've got your card parts, uh, your your envelope, and this is a mini slimline number seven coin envelope if you're looking for them. Um, it's three and a half by six and a half, so I sized my card bases to, to fit in there. So the card base measures three and a quarter by six and a quarter. Opens up like that, and it'll fit in our envelope nicely. And then I like to have a little mat so you can see I took another layer here. I took off 3 eighths of an inch from the side and the bottom. And then I went ahead and stamped it with Celebrate with Cake. Um, the ink should coordinate with your envelope. And then I've die cut the little candle from the, the top there. This is going to be the window that our light shines through. Well, the candle part will be. Um, and then let me show you the supplies we used in case you're recreating this or want to make this at home. So one light, and they come in multiple packs. All of them come with batteries, so you don't have to worry about that. On our site, you'll also find the little candle flame gems that we're going to use. They're, they're really fun to light up. And then all of our stamps and dies are from my favorite things. So I use the Itty Bitty Celebrations for the Celebrate with Cake sentiment. You do need a push stamp, some, uh, something to indicate where to push the button. So this is the interactive labels from my favorite things. Um, we do carry this on our site as well. And then the dies that we used are all from My Favorite Things as well. This is called the Cupcake and Sprinkles die set. Now, I didn't want to cut out sprinkles times 50. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm cheating and using these little clay, um, clay embellishments. But the die set, I do want to point out, has a couple different options there if you're going to make this at home and you want something a little bit flatter. And then in addition, you need to gather some supplies. So you'll want scissors, you'll want some wet glue or whatever adhesive that you like to use, but um, wet glue is, is nice and you want a strong one for your gems and for the little sprinkles. Um, a pickup tool will be handy for that as well. You do need a pencil and then scissors to cut your foam tape. This foam tape is a little bit special. Um, I'm sending this roll to the event. so. Play with it and let me know what you think. We actually have it on um, on the way. It's being manufactured now. This is a prototype roll. So the rolls will have a smaller core and, and be a little bit less um, bulky. But it is double thick. So keep that in mind. If you're recreating this at home, you need either two layers of regular foam or double thick foam tape. And then this tape is really cool because it's repositionable at first. It does become permanent within 24 hours. But if you st stick it down and it doesn't you know, you're slightly askew, your project's not ruined. Just gently peel it back up, fix it, stick it back down. 
um, it, it's you can reposition it for like 30 minutes and like I said by tomorrow it'll be nice and, and firm a permanent hole so double thick foam tape all right those are our supplies let's bring this stuff back and I'll show you what we're working with first the first thing you're gonna want to do is take your card base and your card front and then line it up just so that you you know roughly where it's gonna be and then I take that pencil and I mark right at the base of the candle flame see that it's just right there I guess that's probably hard to see on camera but I just marked that so when I move this out of the way I know where my light is gonna be and let me show you this light Peel it off and normally it does not come with adhesive on the back but for the event we're trying to make it fast and simple for you um, let me take the little tab out from underneath and you can see just push the little button there and it'll light up for you easy peasy now I'm gonna peel back the release paper if you're making this at home and you have purchased the one light separately you'll want to put some double stick tape there or a strong adhesive and the yellow dot, that's our light, that's going to go right where that little pencil mark is. That's why we marked that. Stick it down, and you have done the hard part. Now all we need to do is cover it up, right? Okay, so let's set that aside for a second. Flip your panel over. On the back side here, you're going to want to cover the window with vellum. And then I usually just kind of give myself a little bit of glue near the outline and the edges just in case so it's nice and flat and clean and then so so we've got that window covered see that but let me show you why we're adding the other piece can you see that this this paper is pretty thin and when I put the foam tape around the edges to elevate this we'll have a box and we don't want a box of light to show. We want just the candle to look like it's glowing. So we're basically gonna make a mask. Think of this as a blackout curtain, but with a mask for the light. So I'm just gonna adhere this in place as well. And I wanna kind of just line up the hole around the candle flame and you can have it higher or lower wherever you think that would look best and this panel does not need to go the full length because the light won't bleed down there just around the edges here and then all we're going to want to do is add some foam tape around the edges you do want to make sure that you don't put foam tape right here because this is where the light's going to be and the reason we're using that double thick foam tape is that the thickness of the battery is about the same height as two layers of foam tape so let me show you. The other really nice thing about this release paper, or the uh, foam tape, is that the release paper is really good. That was my first and most important task make the release paper release it's in the name after all that's what it should do so that was critical and it has taken me a couple years to actually source this tape it's not easy <laughs> it's a special order product there we go and can you see now we have a nice ring of light instead of just the candle we've got a halo of light around it, which I think is really pretty. All right, so now we can peel the release paper. And you see it just comes off like nothing. And it's not super sticky at first. It will become nice and permanent over time, over the next 24 hours. But if you accidentally stick it down like that and it's wrong, like I said, you can just peel it right up and stick it back down again. There we go. I like that. Okay, 
We've done all of the hard part. Now we're just finishing our decorations. So here is where you're going to want to open this little bag. Inside this bag, you're going to find a green candlestick. And let me get a little dish. I want to not lose all of these guys. Okay. So, green candlestick. Oops. And the die itself, the die set, cuts out this candlestick as well as the full candle length, which is nice. All I'm doing is inlaying it here so that the light comes through just the candle flame, not the candle stem or candlestick. And then we can start laying out these pieces. And you can see if you want the vanilla or the pure white on top. I like the cream, so I'm going to layer that. And I think I'm actually going to kind of tuck my liner in between just barely just just a little kiss in there so that when I layer this one on top the frosting is a little extra thick and it'll look like it's spilling over our liner which I like that look All right, so now we can just stick this down. And the button should be right in place if we wind it up all correctly. But if you're like a little bit off, the pressure of the paper will pull it, you know, cause that light to go off anyhow. So if you're if you're just off a little bit, you'll still be fine. Okay, now decorating. So we've got our little cherry, which we'll put together, and then the candle flame. And then I'll save the little sprinkles for last. You can even do those at home later if you want. So some of my adhesive here. Again, that little pickup tool would be handy here. And then the cherry is actually two parts. It's a, a neat, that's also in the die that way. So you've got the, um, the cherry, and then you can just cover up the stem like that. Have it hanging off there. And now I definitely want my little pickup stick. And the easiest way I've found to add sprinkles is to put dots of glue where you want the sprinkles. This is kind of a slower drying glue. And put them down. Some of these pickup tools are a little extra sticky. I've actually been playing with the one from Trinity Stamps a lot lately. It's really nice. A couple more here. This part's probably the most fiddly, but it's also fun, I think. Make them a little extra special. All right, finished card coordinating envelope to make the, the colors pop, push the button, all set. I hope you've enjoyed playing with this and give us a, a try. If you'd like more one lights, you can find them on our website. Same with the gems and be on the lookout for that foam tape. It should be here in just a couple of weeks. Hit up my favorite things for stamps and dies. We also do have the push here stamps on our, our website as well. And in your package, there'll be the little coupon. So take advantage of that too. Thanks so much. Bye guys.